In this episode of Ricky Remembers, Ricky Remembers Caladryl, Merthiolate, and Teramycin. Now, you might be wondering why I suddenly remembered those three. Um, I was writing in my journal yesterday and it prompted, prompted me to remember the top 10 smells or scents from my childhood and I remembered Caladryl and Merthiolate. So when I was when I was younger, I used to have all these allergies and my mom would have to apply Caladryl all over my arms and my legs. Um, so it had a distinct smell and I remember it had this very light pink, very flesh color so that it would meld with your skin after it dried up. Remember that flesh color in Crayola, that box of crayons that you would get? It, it was the same color so that when it dried up, on your skin, it would hopefully match your skin color. So anyway, I remember Caladryl very well and how it smelled. Uh, Merthiolate, however, remember when we were kids, we would play in a, in a playground just like the one in my background. Of course, our playgrounds back then were not as fancy as this one, as you can see. Um, but they were playgrounds nonetheless. And of course, we would get cuts and wounds and we would get scrapes and everything and our moms and our or our parents back then the medicine that they would apply to these cuts would be merthiolate and it had a very distinct smell also uh, and it had a very uh, how would I say it um, the Filipino word is mahapdi sobrang hapdi it was very sore when you applied it it was very painful so it's not hard to remember that feeling and the smell and the scent that, that goes with it. You know, Merthiolate had a very particular smell as well. It came in this very small container or this small vial. I remember you would never see a big bottle of Merthiolate anywhere. It was only this small bottle. It had this pinkish, reddish uh, color. Uh, I don't even know if, if Merthiolate is available in stores anymore. I think they discontinued it for, or something. And the last would be teramycin. Now, teramycin, you would only summon the powers of teramycin if your wound got worse or if it got infected. I remember uh, as a young child, you would get, when, you're, when, you're, when your wound got infected, it would get pus or it would get nana in Tagalog. Nana na in, kumbaga. Uh, I remember when I was younger, uh, whether you were poor, whether you were middle class, or you were rich, everybody had nana, or everybody had pus, would get pus in their wounds because yeah, we would all play outside. We would all play outdoors. We would get scrapes and bruises and wounds and cuts, and sometimes it would get infected, and our parents would have to put, well, first they would clean it with hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if you remember hydrogen peroxide or agua oxinada. And then after that, they would put teramycin on the wound or on the on the nana or the pus so that it would so that the infection would subside or or go away completely. Um, I even remember this thing that my dad and my mom would do where if if the wound had Nana already. This is gross. If I had, had Nana already and it had an eye, they would call it like an eye. And my dad would have to disinfect a needle. He would disinfect a needle and use that needle to, to puncture the wound so that the pus or the Nana would come out. And then apply teramycin. I remember that uh, method very well. So there you have it. Sorry if it was a little gross, but we got to keep it real, right? We got to keep it true. Uh, there's your episode of Ricky Remembers for today. Ricky Remembers Caladryl, Teramycin, and Merthiolate. Or Ka Ricky Remembers Caladryl, Merthiolate, and Teramycin. Um, thanks for tuning in until the next episode and again don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications every time there's a new video uh, or there's a new Ricky Remembers episode. Thanks!